Gabe Kapler doesn't plan on coming out for the national anthem because he doesn't feel good about the direction of our country. Yeah, I, I just don't I don't plan on coming out for for the anthem going forward until I feel like um, there's I, I feel better about the direction of our country. That's deep. So that that'll be the step. I don't I don't expect it to to move the needle necessarily. It's just something that. Um, I feel strongly enough about to, to take that step. That's a deep step. I think I, the rest of what I wrote, I think, explains the rest of that, yeah? That's really deep. Coincided with the moment of silence and how those two things didn't sync up well for me. But I wasn't quite sure. I, I couldn't make sense of it in real time. And it took me a couple of days to pull all my thoughts together and, and to be able to articulate them clearly. Sometimes that happens for me. That's why I don't necessarily so always talk on the spot i want some time to think it through that's smart it's so wild how mahmoud abdul Barouf or colin kaepernick those guys like didn't stand up and they basically got like black ball from the league but this guy's the coach and he's like listen i'm just not coming out and it's what it is and it doesn't feel to be any like crazy backlash so maybe it's just the tide has turned where people are just like nah like well, we got to do something to make something change or else shit's going to be the same so maybe it's that precipice point, right, where it's just like things got to go a certain way. And it's like enough with the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard bullshit. And let's just focus on like real change, like things that we need to do to spread love and compassion and empathy and kindness. And how to bring like those things like take down those McDonald's commercials that are about to air the 20 million dollars that they're about to spend today in McDonald's commercials. Take those down and put things that are about positivity, kindness, things like that. So, anyways, Gabe Kapler, I remember him back in the days. Remember he had the K-Swiss shoes. Uh, let me know how you feel about these videos. Sound off in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. If you want to continue on the Doobie Duke Sims experience, check out my clothing brand, Snow Milk. My clothing designs on the top. These are all pieces I personally picked from the thrift store and put the vibration on. Click the link with the sweater. Also, check out one of my songs below. Would love to know what you think about it. Hit me in the comments. See you in the next video. Peace.